Uh, good afternoon guys, uh, this is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes, an electrical engineer by profession. Okay, uh, I am now on topic number 20 on the course uh, differential equation. Uh, the topic is uh, homogeneous, still homogeneous differential equation. Uh, this will now be example number 5. This will be the last example problem on homogeneous differential equation then uh, my next topic will be differential equation solvable by using integrating factors okay I, I want to maximize the number of example problems for each topic so you will familiarize yourselves for those who are taking up engineering okay this is for you guys uh, this is now lesson number 20 DE20 on the topic uh, differential equation on my channel Professor David J. Delosreyes The subtopic is actually homogeneous differential equation This is example number 5 Okay, uh, I will try to read the problem uh, This is just an illustrative example again but this will be the last before we will proceed with the so-called integrating factors the given problem is x squared dy minus y open quantity x minus y close quantity dx equal to zero. Find the general solution. Uh, we are not given any uh, initial condition, so supposed to be what is being asked is the general solution. Okay, uh, let's proceed. The, uh, there are only two classes of solution and they are uh, homogeneous. It's either x equal to by or y is equal to bx. For this example here, I will choose x equal to by. I got a solution on my note, notebook. Okay? In which the solution is y equal to bx and the, uh, the final answer is this one. So I want to show you another solution by using x equal to by. Anyway, I now know myself that by using the first one, this will be the solution. And by using the second solution, x equal to by, supposed to be, the answer will be the same. Okay, uh, let's proceed. Uh, we let x equal to by. Taking differential of both sides, dx will be equal to product, right? b dy plus y dv. First one times the differential of the second plus the second times the differential of the first. Okay, B dy plus Y dy. We take these two values here, we place it here. So this will be, I am following this, X. What is X? It is By quantity squared times dy. Minus Y. Okay, minus Y. Uh, we do not replace Y. Times. Okay, what is X? It is By. Minus y, close quantity, times dx. But what is dx? dx is the sum of b dy plus y db. So this is the sum of b dy plus b d. y db. Uh, this is actually dx. Uh, we are just only substituting, guys. So expanding, this will be b square y square dy. Okay. Minus y square. Uh, I expedite a little bit. There's a common factor y, okay? I bring it out. This is multiplied by y, so this is now y squared. So what remains inside will just be simply the difference b minus 1. We remove the y already inside. We bring it out. Times the value of dx, which is b dy plus y db equal to 0. Again, by inspection, there is a common factor, okay? The operation here is multiplication, right? On the second term. So if we try to multiply all terms by the reciprocal of y square, which is 1 over y square, uh, we will eliminate this one here and this one. So what will come out now after the multiplication? It will be b square dy minus, this is gone, right? The quantity b, b minus 1 times the quantity the value of dx, which is b dy plus y dv equal to 0. Again, uh, this is just a uh, pure algebra. Uh, this is b squared dy. 
quantity quantity so we will take the first one times this one here minus minus one that will be plus one there's, there's a plus one over here times this quantity okay but the first one should have a side negative this is negative b times b dy plus y db minus minus one will be plus one again times b dy plus y db equal to zero okay what's next expanding b square dy minus b square dy minus b y db plus b dy plus y db equal to zero and luckily uh, this term here cancel with this so there is actually two terms with the adv on the resulting uh, expansion this one um, we compress this one as this one and the one with the dy we put it on the right so this is minus b dy okay Let's try to separate now the variables. So if we will multiply all the terms by 1 over the product of y times b. Okay, I will try to rewrite the left hand side. This is y times bb times 1 minus b. Uh, I interchange already the location of this. Because minus b plus 1 is actually 1 minus b. All over the product of by equal to this negative b times dy all over again the product of b times y then try to make some cancellations uh, we could cancel actually um, <laughs> uh, the operation on the numerator is multiplication uh, this is multiplication also so actually uh, this way here cancel with this okay that's on the left hand side on the right hand side multiplication again this is multiplication so actually we could cancel but if the operation is subtraction or addition, you cannot cancel, guys. Okay, so this uh, this be here. Cancel with this. So what will remain now on the left will be 1 minus b over b, 1 minus b over b times db equal to, uh, this here, there is a negative uh, sign over here, uh, negative 1 times dy over y, dy over y. Meaning uh, there is a negative sign on the right hand side. Then if we try to divide uh, 1 minus b over b, it will be okay, uh, 1 over b minus b over b is actually 1 times db. Uh, there is only one uh, numerator, so we could actually distribute this one on the denominator. So 1 over b is actually 1 over b, and minus b over b is actually minus 1 times db. Then we try to expand. So this will become db, okay, db, and this is db, this is gone. So what will come out will be a db over b minus actually b, db, equal to negative 1, dy over dy, uh, dy over y, there is a negative sign over here. We separate already the variables, so we can now proceed with the integration. So, so proceeding with the integration... Integrate both sides, right? The integral of dv over b minus the integral of dv after the division of this equal to negative 1 the integral of dy over y. Oh, is a natural logarithm of b. The integral of differential of b is just b equal to uh, is money also natural logarithm of y my of negative 1 natural logarithm of y plus b. So what will come out? Natural logarithm of b this is negative, right? We put it on the left. This will be plus natural logarithm of y minus b. And we maintain the constant of integration on the right. Uh, this uh, represents or this could be simplified into the logarithm of the product. It's actually the logarithm of the product, right? So under one natural logarithm sign, this should be the product of dy minus b equal to c. But what is uh, B? Uh, what is BY? BY is actually our substitution. It is actually X. So actually we can replace this BY now by just simply X. So what will come out will be natural logarithm of X 
and what is b from here since x is equal to b over y therefore b will be equal to x over y right so we will replace this b here by the ratio x over y equal to c okay uh, that's our final answer if you want to eliminate the this y here multiply all terms by y and it's still the same okay so the final general solution will be natural logarithm of x minus x over y equal to constant of integration c final answer this is the general solution Okay guys, that's the solution of our last example under homogeneous differential equation. So, it's an easy thing, right? It's either you use x equal to by or y equal to bx. And still, the resulting general solution will still be the same. I got the solution on my notebook for the relation y equal to bx. Okay? And I want to verify the validity of the answer, so I use the other one, x equal to bi. And what comes out is still the same, natural logarithm of x minus x over y equal to c. Okay guys, uh, that's the last topic under homogeneous differential equation. My next topic under uh, DE lesson number 21 will be still differential equation. We are on the course differential equation on the topic it will be differential equation solvable by using integrating factors. That's another topic. So I, I might give you five uh, lessons on that one. Then we, we will proceed with the so-called Bernoulli's equation. It's another kind of differential equation. So actually we are uh, running smooth. Okay, good afternoon, Los Angeles.